Ron shows destruction. They incited rebellion and anarchy. And paid the price. The survivors continue to spread dissent. Find them. Do not rest until the destruction of Alderaan is complete. orders are clear. Are they? Yes. Wipe out all that remains of Alderaan. How? I understood the survivors were in hiding. Intelligence reports a possible Alderanian convoy heading to Fostar Haven. You are to draw them out and finish them off. Do you understand that, Captain? Perfectly, Commodore Sloan. Dismissed. Squadrons on their way. They're excited to fulfill Lord Vader's command. And you? No qualms hunting down refugees from a world we destroyed? During the Iskalon uprising, you taught me to ignore propaganda. They're traitors, not refugees, and will be dealt with accordingly. I've prepped our usual Sigma-9 loadout. No. Only standard ties today. Flying old school, sir. This might be a real challenge after all. You hear me, Teresa. But I don't think you understand me. I guess we'll find out. Follow my lead. And don't fire unless I give the order. The convoy is out there. We don't want to scare them off. Let's do this right. Rebel death, Imperial victory. We all choose our path, light or dark, freedom or destruction. The Empire chose to destroy Alderaan in order to spread fear and douse the fires of rebellion. But the heroic pilots of the Rebel Alliance have chosen to keep fighting, to show the Empire that we are not afraid. It was their bravery that ended Palpatine's reign and brought about our new Republic. However, the Empire lives on shattered though it may be.
As I speak, Imperial forces are edging toward the Bormia sector, hoping to end our new Republic before we find our footing. As their empire collapses, they try to tighten their grip. But the galaxy is changing, and you can be a part of it. With the help of brave and daring pilots, this war can end. Make a choice. Fly with the new Republic. Change our galaxy for the better. tails for hours and now we're late to meet the new boss well do you want to race home for us we might make it before his speech ends <laughs> keo i ain't racing you i learned my lesson the first 12 times <laughs> ash the speech is starting I'm not one for speeches, so I'll just say I'm honored to assume command of the Temperance in this fleet. Vanguard Squadron's reputation for bravery and integrity is unrivaled, which is why I affected immediately. We have been reassigned to an initiative codenamed Project Starhawk. Starhawk? Then those rumors about a secret project are true. What do you think it is, huh? Some kind of weapon? the key to victory. If it helps end the war, who cares? I care. I like to know who I'm working for. The good guys risk, remember? The only people in the galaxy who don't have a death mark on you? <laughs> ah, Grace. The day ain't over yet. <sighs> Come on. Back to the temperance. We can meet the new boss. And anyone else he's bringing along. General Sindula. Hello, Vanguard. Welcome to the Nadiri Dockyards. I'd give you a tour, but the Empire knows we're up to something now. They'll be looking for us, which means we have work to do. has 
finally surfaced. One of my spies has linked the attacks on our Star Destroyers with the New Republic Starhawk project. A common factor is Lyndon Javes. You knew Javes better than anyone, Captain Carroll. If I had, I'd have destroyed him before he betrayed us at Fostar Haven. Then this is your second chance. The Rebels are keeping a low profile. Take Titan Squadron, hunt down this Starhawk, and eliminate it. Gladly, Admiral Sloan. But if I may ask, there's a particular pilot I'd like to requisition. Gray, come in. Is it true we're getting a new pilot? Copy, soul. Captain Carroll's bringing someone in, John. The treacherous slime taking our ships. Good. More the merrier. <laughs> Easy, Von Reg. Remember the last time you lost your call? The day I cut through a whole squadron of rebels and saved your neck. Focus. Shen's right. Tighten it up, soul. And Von Reg. Save a little for the enemy. Overseer to Titan. Finish your inspection. Your new wingmate has arrived. but the rest of the data banks are empty. Engineers must have wiped the rest when Captain Amos blew our cover. They were so close. An idiot Amos deserves to go down with his ship. Knowing the sector at least narrows our search. Lyndon can't hide forever. Titan, eliminate the convoy. Let Lyndon know we're coming for him.
Doc works? He tossed the Overseer around like a loath rat. Good. Lousy Imperials deserve payback with interest. Shall we just build a Death Star and get it over with? Oh, come on, Grace. We're still the good guys. Anyhow, we won, right? Wherever they jumped, no ship's coming back from that. Let's hope so. Outer Rem, Remetic system, grid L42. Scramble fire crews. Get a distress call to the nearest Imperial station. Aha! It, there's an old munitions depot in this system, Captain, run by a Colonel Grom. Must be our lucky day. Make the call. This isn't over, thank God. So, you jump to my territory, uninvited, then demand my supplies? Colonel Graal, the Starhawk project is within our grasp. All I need is repairs and proper munitions. No. The Emperor assigned me to this depot. I decide how its resources are used. As of this moment, that includes your Star Destroyer. Consider yourself reassigned. The Overseer was sent on this mission by Admiral Sloan herself. Admiral Sloan isn't here, Captain. I have rebel guerrillas to deal with. And now, so do you. Grom out. <laughs> he wants us to fight rebels. All right. We'll protect his depot. And if his munitions get lost in the crossfire, well... Lucky for us. Ma'am, regulations specifically forbid this. I will not be beaten by vanguard, grandstanding imbeciles, or anyone else. Please, not judgment. It's just fine. Call in Titan Squadron. Now. Ship. 
abandon it. We can lose our Starhawk prototype, but not the people who built it. You're gonna help them escape. How, boss? The Temperance's hyperdrive is busted. They're working on it, but don't worry. I'll buy you enough time. Rebellion welcomed me. Today, I feel honored to join the fight. Sir, you can't. Have faith, Kyo. Besides, if there's one person who can keep Jurissa's attention, it's me. I need you to lead our defenders. The future of Project Starhawk and maybe the New Republic itself is in your hands. All due respect, sir. You won't last a second out there alone. Thanks to you, I've been able to call in some help. Commander James, this is Anvil Squadron. We got your message. We're here to help. Good luck, Vanguard. And may the Force be with you. Titan Squadron, with Admiral Sloan's unerring support, we have left Project Starhawk in ruins. 
Vanguard Squadron is doomed. Imperial ideals have prevailed. Loyalty, duty, discipline. And with our latest champion, we shall ascend to even greater heights. Titan III has been promoted to Flight Baron with full honors. Well done. Your future with the Empire is bright. I take pride that the death of Lyndon Javes sends a message to all who would betray us. That wherever the enemies of the Empire may arise, Titan will be waiting, no matter the cost. This war is our crucible. We will emerge triumphant and bring this new Republic to its knees. like the sun. If you only believe in it when you can see it, you'll never make it through the night. We know our new Republic faces great challenges. But thanks to Vanguard Squadron, peace is closer than ever. General Syndulla sacrificed one Starhawk for the chance to build a fleet. From Nadiri, Commander Javes will guide our best and brightest, forging the strength to challenge an empire. The war goes on, but we face it with renewed courage, inspired by heroes who fly for freedom as we emerge from the darkness of imperial oppression into the light of a new era.